Hello and welcome to my England World Cup diary. Yes, we may very much be out of the World Cup, but we're still kind of in it. We've got a game left. No thanks to Mario Balotelli, who did not come through for us in the end against Costa Rica. No kiss for you, or a snog from the Queen, as I promised on the last show. But, like a rag and bone man, I still think we can salvage something um, from that last game against Costa Rica. There are still things we can achieve. Five in particular, I've got them noted down here in my diary. Number one, anything other than a loss. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, we don't really want to go home with, th with three losses in a row, and especially Roy Hodgson doesn't, because I just think that's going to stalk the rest of his England managerial career if he has three zeros next to his name. You can just see it, can't you, in Euro 2006 qualifying. If there's even the slightest blip, his critics, the media will jump on that horrendous record. So for, Ho for Roy's sake, please, please get a draw. You know what? Even a win, that'd be nice. Much appreciated. Um, number two, I'd like to see a man of the match display from Steven Gerrard. Now, I may have been a tiny little bit harsh on the fella here, um, but he's not been that great at this World Cup. He's been immobile, slightly lethargic, um, just a total failure to control the game and lacking that leadership when we really needed him. And that's, that's kind of sorrowful because this could well be his last game for England. If we don't want to remember him like that, that's not a fair legacy. Um, he's been a wonderful man of wonderful moments for a long time for England. 113 caps, 21 goals um, off the top of my head. Um, that brilliant goal against Trinidad and Tobago. That goal against uh, Germany in the 5-1 win in 2001. Great memories. And hopefully he's going to provide one more because I think that's important for his legacy. Um, number three, give youth a chance to shine. Generally speaking, it feels like we have, but we haven't at the same time. You know, Ross Barkley is good enough to start for me and he must start on Tuesday. I want to see a hell of a lot more of him rather than being relegated to a couple of substitute appearances. Same for Luke Shaw. Why not put him on from the start? Let's do that. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain's finally fit. Let's start him as well. Let's see a bit of Lalana. Let's do it now. Let's not wait for a far-flung European qualifier in a couple of years' time or a year's time. Let's not wait for a meaningless friendly. Let's do it now while we're in the World Cup. That's going to be a fantastic and crucial experience for them. Um, what have we got next? Number four, rekindle the Italian game attitude. Ah, they were happy days, weren't they? About a week and a half ago, and we did pretty well against Italy. It felt like we'd etched out a new identity for the future. Progressive, young, focused, positive, past completion rates in the 90%. That's like the best we've done for decades. Things were looking very good indeed. Not just for the rest of the World Cup, but for the next couple of years at least. Um, however, it all went up in smoke, as we know, in Uruguay. We went back to the old school times of fear, trepidation, couldn't keep hold of the ball, and just nerves got the better of us. So the question is, who are we, England? Who do we want to be? The team against Italy or the team against Uruguay? I think you know the answer to that. Let's see it. And number five, let's produce a magical moment. I mean, that's one of the biggest regrets for me in this tournament. I know we're going out early, but we haven't really left much of a mark, have we? You know, a bit like uh, someone turning up to a house party. Um, no drink, um, no snacks, not leaving any good anecdotes or stories behind and then just leaving early to have a nap. That's kind of us at this World Cup. Nothing really memorable has happened. Nothing's going to be on that highlights promo montage yet. I say yet because I'm fingers crossed for something special. Um, I'm thinking uh, Phil Jagielka, sort of 30-yard bicycle kick, just buries that. Um, maybe Raheem Sterling doing a Maradona. The, the slaloming, not the handball. Actually, the handball will be probably quite more, more memorable, won't it? Let's go for that. Let's go for a Raheem, the hand of Raheem. And uh, finally, Wayne Rooney, yeah? I'd say bag four goals. You know, you could have a late charge for golden boot winner. Never say never. Okay, that is it for now. If you want to see the written version of this blooming brilliant video, um, just go to blog.banter.tv and I will be back with you on Wednesday with all my reaction to the Costa Rica game. Fingers crossed, we'll grab a point, hey? Goodbye. In Roy, we trust. For two years at least. Contractually. In theory. <laughs>